There are almost 800,000 project managers working in the United States alone. Many of these project managers focus on enterprise project management. And enterprise project management involves handling many complex projects at the same time. So if you're looking for a career move into big project management, then enterprise project management may be the natural step for you. So let's talk about how much does an average enterprise project manager make. As of 2022, the average salary of an enterprise project manager in the United States is $105,000 per year. And I got this data by calculating the average salary using the data from salary.com, Glassdoor, ZipRecruiter, and PaySkill. Many factors can affect the national average, so the enterprise project manager may earn anywhere between $85,000 to $145,000 per year. That is the range. Also, you can advance from enterprise project manager to senior enterprise project manager. So if you have a couple of years of experience, you can advance. So for senior enterprise project manager, you can expect an average salary of $110,000 per year. The salary range is pretty broad, starting from $99,000 per year and increasing to $125,000 per year. Similar data is expected for 2023 and beyond. Remember that these salaries are just averages. Some enterprise project managers make way more and some make way less. When you're reviewing a job offer, you also have to consider the total compensation package, such as what benefits and pensions you may get. For example, the government may pay a little bit less, but they give a very generous pension once you turn 65. You should also consider any health premiums and benefits you may get as well. Sometimes these benefits would be worth it to accept a lower salary. Now let's talk about what does an enterprise project manager do. Project managers usually manage projects for one department or business unit. This is in contrast to enterprise project managers who are responsible for projects taking place throughout the whole organization. One of the main purposes of having an enterprise project manager is to ensure that every project is well-defined within a company's goals. What makes an enterprise project manager different from other project manager jobs is the unique reporting structure. A project manager usually reports to the program manager or the department head, but an enterprise project manager reports directly to a firm's executive team. So as an enterprise project manager, you may be responsible for reviewing the project regularly, solving project-related problems, coordinating project-related activities, managing project resources, and establishing best practices for project planning. Now, in order to become a successful enterprise project manager, you will need to have the following skills. Communication. This is really key for anything you do in project management. You must be able to write reports, give presentations, and have productive conversations with your project stakeholders. You also need to have good time management skills. Every project has a set milestone that needs to be met. And as an enterprise project manager, you are responsible for making sure that the team stays on track. Risk management, you must be able to identify project-related risk and take steps to mediate these risks as well. Estimation, super important skill for any project manager. So you need to be able to have the skills to estimate project cost and schedule and be able to forecast at any point during the project. What factors affect enterprise project manager salaries? When reviewing these salary estimates, you may notice that some enterprise project managers pay a lot more than others. So let's talk about the factors that may affect your pay. The first one is the geographic location. So if you live in a city where the cost of living is much higher, you can expect to make more. So for example, if you accept a job in New York or California, then you can expect to be paid more than somewhere like Ohio 
Another reason that some enterprise project managers get paid more than others is because they have the relevant certifications and educations. Some common project management certifications could include the PMP or the CSM. Having these certifications could make yourself more marketable. And you could also start with our free course for PMP at examspm.com slash PMP. As for education, some employers do want you to have a bachelor's or master's degree, while others are more concerned about your skill level and experience level. If your preferred employer requires a degree, you usually earn more if your degree is super relevant to the job. Now, nothing can replace work experience. When a big project is on the line, experience counts. Entry-level roles tend to pay the least as hiring managers know you will need to spend the time training the new employee before they can become super productive at their job. Experienced project managers earn the highest paying salary because they don't need extra supervision. They already know how to get things done and they may also have a wide variety of skills and can help on different tasks throughout the project. For example, a project manager may also double as a product manager, which will help the organization define what the product would look like. Now, if the project manager can do also do the job of the product manager, they're more valuable, which justifies their six-figure salary. Another factor that affect the pay of enterprise project manager is the industry that they work in. Some industries simply just pay more than others. Some industries also require specialized knowledge about that industry, and hence they have to pay more for project managers. For example, IT project managers get paid roughly $5,000 more than the national average. The same goes for project managers working in healthcare, pharmaceuticals, and even aerospace. Now let's talk about the job duties. Salaries also vary depending on the job duties of the enterprise project manager. Someone who oversees 25 team members will likely earn more than someone who's overseeing one or two team members. Small companies also pay less than large companies. Overall, having a career in project manager and becoming an enterprise project manager is a great career path, regardless of which industry you choose to work in. Thank you so much for tuning in for today's video. I hope you found this information really useful and please like and subscribe to our channel and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much and have a great day.